Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET. I'm here at CES 2018 with LG, and we're looking at their new OLED lineup. This is the W8 behind me. It's their highest-end OLED organic light-emitting diode television for 2018. We've really liked these TVs in the past. They provide excellent picture quality, the best we've ever tested. The W8 is one of the coolest-looking TVs. It was actually introduced last year, this really thin, wallpaper form factor. If you look at it from the side, it just blends right into the wall. There's a sound bar here at the bottom, but the TV itself is just consists of this panel that kind of just sits on the wall, very flush, very cool design. LG also has an E8 display, which has a redesigned stand this year. There's a, a thicker chunk at the bottom that's transparent, a really nice slick display, again, very thin, but not quite as thin as the wallpaper. Changes this year that LG has made are not drastic. The company has went ahead mainly on the smart TV side and added Google Assistant into its normal smart TV system. So you can pick up the remote and ask for things on Google Assistant. For example, search shows, ask for actors. Another thing you can do with Google Assistant is use it to control smart home appliances. LG actually has its Think IQ series of smart home technology, vacuum cleaners, washer dryers, that sort of thing that you can control using the TV's built-in smart assistant system. So that's the big addition. LG has also made some tweaks to picture quality this year that are a little bit less. They still have the same black levels, the same brightness, and the same color as last year, but this year they did add a different video processing. It's called the Alpha 9 processor. LG says it can reduce artifacts like noise and banding, get the picture a little bit better looking, although already it was really superb, so I'm curious to see in the lab how much better that processing actually looks. That's a quick look at LG's 2018 OLED TV lineup. I'm here with the W8 and E8. There's other TVs in the series that cost a little bit less. We'll get full pricing availability later this year. David Katzmeyer at CES 2018.